how to create the account in AWS cloud. So we'll go to Google, then uh, search like AWS uh, console, and they will give you a direct link to sign up with the new account that is a free tier account. Okay, so in the right uh, top corner, there's option here to create the account. They ask you some certain details, right? Uh, that will help to create the account. So, so just give you an email address. I'm just giving my email address. Here in the last, uh, you can uh, give some account name. It would be anything for my case. I'm just giving a name Vimal uh, hash 30. It would be any name just for our reference. Click continue. Uh, pretty simple captcha security check. Let me put R D T M H X D. Click and continue. Now here they ask you, you are creating this account for business purpose. Obviously for here we are doing some training. So it will be for our personal purpose. Just click on the personal. Again, they ask you some detail, pretty simple, full details and your address, everything. So you can very quickly fill those things. After fill all the details uh, in the last, just click on agree the agreement. And again, you can proceed with the next step. Uh, for creating the account, it is a free tier. They give you this account for uh, free for 12 months. There will be a lot of services in AWS. Everything is not free, but there's uh, some core services that we're going to use in this particular training. Mostly those are free and that we will leverage those that particular service only. But for creating the free tier account, you have to provide your credit card. Almost all the credit card work here and uh, not all the debit card but yeah almost 90 percent different kind, different kind of debit card also works so if you don't have the credit card just try it if you're lucky your debit card will work to check the validity of your debit or the credit card they will charge you two rupees and they will refund you back within some days okay so i go for continue process as I fill in my last page, my country name is India and here we have a pan card. So if you have a pan card, so you can click yes and fill the details or maybe we can add the pan card for taxation purpose. So we can add also in the in after the settings also, right? So in my case, I'm just selecting no and click on the next step. Here they take me to the banking site and uh, what are the bank you have connected your card with. They ask you your OTP and what are the authentication process they have. After you put your OTP right bank uh, verify, then they will resend you back to this page. Now for signing in AWS, they have to check your identity. So they will again send OTP to you either by text or a voice call. So I'm just selecting my country over here. Okay, and I'm putting my mobile number. And the, the capture again, it may be P6DW5P. Okay, and I send SMS, so SMS will come up. I have to verify my identity uh, over here so I'm just waiting for my OTP to come up I think I got it so and now click continue to go to the next step as a sign up process finally after all this verification you will reach to this place uh, you can choose your plan for our training purpose basic support free is enough right we don't need any support because we are going to learn whatever we need in this training right and finally i'll go to complete sign up process okay that's all guys everything is still yet yet everything goes great right in our account will activate in some minute mostly uh, we get a mail after our account will be activated but by chance due to some reason if you have some other challenges you get the mail that your account is not activated due to some reason for this you can contact the support guys of AWS. They will help you 
with the challenge and mostly they will also help you to uh, to activate your account but mostly uh, you will have your account activated in some few minutes and after this just go to aws management console and now here uh, you can just and again in the right top corner you have uh, this link sign into the console okay and what are the uh, user name or email id you use just type there i'm putting my email id okay that, that i use initially uh, while signing up this process and i go to next obviously you have to give your password by chance here they're asking your captcha so let me type here to verify i'm not the robot and then i'll give my password and that's all so in my case in my case uh, without wasting much time they have activated my account in in a second right and this is the first time i'm seeing my my screen so this kind of new home screen you will see and uh, do you want to go for new uh, home console they have come with a very new, new different experiences of the look and feel of this portal this portal also known as console so finally if you see this kind of console it means whatever setup you have done is working fine and whatever name you have given to your account it is visible here on the top that's called in my case i use this name while creating the account okay so that's all guys, that's all guys. Uh, congrats from my side if you have done successfully if you are not able to log in here and if you face any issues and they will say your account is not yet activated just wait for some minute or after some minute again it is not activated i highly suggest you will get a link somewhere uh, on that error page contact to support they will help you and try to help you in resolving the issue okay guys take care all the best